Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, we are going to be going over everything that is going, uh, well, everything that is confirmed for World War II Vanguard's multiplayer. Now guys, I didn't get to actually watch the Warzone event yet. I know that they're most likely running it for the whole weekend, so I'm going to update my Warzone and do that. But um, uh, yeah, um, if you guys didn't know and you aren't following me on Twitter, which by the way, you should go follow me on Twitter. It's uh, on my YouTube banner. You can just click on the little Twitter logo and you'll just go straight to my Twitter. You should go follow me there. I tweet quite frequently. Um, anyways, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, you wouldn't know that I was actually evacuated due to a fire. And I'm, uh, I'm back home now. Everything's fine. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to make more daily uploads for you guys. So this should be good. Um, but yeah, now in today's video, we are going to be covering everything that is confirmed, not leaks, nothing like that, confirmed for World War II Vanguard's multiplayer. I'm also going to have a video at a later date for the campaign of World War II Vanguard and also covering everything confirmed for zombies for World War II Vanguard. Um, and those videos will be coming out in the next few days, but anyways, I just wanted to cover, uh, everything that's confirmed for multiplayer at the moment. So yeah, guys, um, the first thing, and this is my favorite thing that is confirmed, and my favorite thing that Sledgehammer Games is doing with Vanguard multiplayer, they're actually making it, so there is going to be a total of 20 multiplayer maps at launch. There's gonna be um 16 multiplayer maps like that are just 6v6 and then there's going to be um four like 4v4 maps or 2v2 maps i'm pretty sure they're 4v4 maps for their new champion hill mode another thing is is all of the uh, maps for this game are going to be taking places in a bunch of different areas it's not just going to be like you know certain areas like one certain area and just a bunch of areas inside of that certain area like they kind of did with um uh, some of the cold war maps and some of the uh um modern warfare maps um these are actually going to be taking place in the western front eastern front and pacific regions um i think there might also be a few maps that'll take place in northern africa as well um so you know we can just honestly basically confirm that these maps are going to be from all around the world uh where world war ii is being fought which is was basically everywhere so i mean they have a lot of things that they can do for creativity for maps and i really just hope that they don't mess it up and i don't think they will because sledgehammer usually is very creative with their call of duty games like them or hate them every sledgehammer game in my opinion is at least decent and they never like they never try and make the game like super realistic i guess the one time that they did try that was like they tried that in world war ii but still that game was still good because they were still creative with things and you know map design was good and everything so hopefully that's what we can expect here for uh world war ii vanguard i'm gonna assume so because it's sledgehammer guys come on uh, apparently all of the maps that uh greg resdorf I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Resdorf, Resdorf, I don't know if the D is silent or the S is silent. It's Raydorf. I don't know, I'm sorry. But he's a multiplayer uh, creative director for Sledgehammer Games, if you guys didn't know that. Um, great guy, uh, from what I can tell. Um, he said that these maps are going to be nothing like the maps they made in Cold War. Like, not, like, you know what I'm talking about. Those maps like um, uh, Cartel, Miami, and like Satellite. Those maps that are just too big so the timer usually runs out as compared to actually winning because you got enough kills or enough dog tags or whatever so like for map design i don't know in my in my opinion guys i think that it's gonna be really good for map design i have high hopes for vanguard if you've been looking at my twitter as i said go follow me if you've been looking at my twitter you'll know that i have very high hopes for vanguard and i'm really hoping this game is going to be good i'm just really hoping that's going to be good um yeah, no, and another thing that's confirmed that I'm actually uh, very fond of is the Modern Warfare engine. Now, I'm very fond of it. Uh, there's a few things I'm not fond of with the Modern Warfare 2019 engine, such as, like, they made mounting with the Modern Warfare 2019 engine, which I really didn't like mounting. And I'm hoping it, it's been confirmed, basically, that mounting is going to be in the game. So, nothing we can do about that. But, I'm, uh, yeah, so I'm hoping that there's no camo challengers for mounting, because mounting with any gun in Modern Warfare 2019 was just, it wasn't hard, it was just very tedious and boring, and it made the camo grind just not as fun, 
it's just not as fun as the other camo grinds because you just had to sit there mounting another thing though that they are putting in this game is it's going to be you're going to be able to shoot over you're going to be able to shoot over cover without fully um peaking your body so it's basically like there it's basically just like a head glitch basically you're going to be able to peek your head and your gun over cover when you're behind it and just shoot like that and you'll most likely be less accurate just like it is in any other game that, that has been added into um so it's basically it's like little peak shooting so hopefully that isn't too overpowered and hopefully there's no challenges around that um man yeah, no so other than that though the modern warfare 2019 engine had great sound great movement the movement felt great in that game um Tactical sprinting was kind of weird. I didn't really like it that much, but it was alright. It wasn't too bad. Um, the Mod Warfare 2019 engine, other than those two things I've mentioned, it's all good in my opinion. The Mod Warfare 2019 engine, I'm happy they're making the game on that. Um, it's really good, especially for competitive play. I'm usually a casual player, but still, whenever I do play like in the ranked game modes and want to play competitively, um, I liked the Modern Warfare 2019 engine. I have no complaints about that. Uh, so the next thing is going to be like the amount of frames you're going to be able to run on Vanguard on the newer consoles like the PS5 and the Xbox Series X um, and S. Um, so it's supposed to be able to run on 60 FPS. That's what Sledgehammer Games is saying. That's what Activision is saying. Um, I trust Sledgehammer Games word more because they're the f they're the actual developers that made the game. Um, but um, basically, Sledgehammer Games is saying they are aiming to make it so that way Vanguard will run, and they said they've tested it, and Vanguard will run at 60 FPS on the PS5, the Xbox One X, the Xbox One S, and um, it will obviously run 60 FPS or higher on PC depending on your hardware. Um, now, PS4 and the xbox one just like the normal xbox one um they're most likely not gonna run it at 60 fps they're most likely i don't have a ps5 so i'll be able to tell you guys what it does run at once i'm actually playing it because i've, I've pre-ordered the game and everything i'm ready for one playstation exclusive betas come out and everything so i'll make sure to tell you guys if it feels like it's running on lower than 60 fps or if it's running on the normal like 50 to 40 that um cold war and Modern warfare 2019 get on console on the older generation consoles um i'm thinking that's what it's gonna be like because they'll probably tone down some of the graphical features um kind of like what they did in Modern warfare 2019 and in cold war for the older generation consoles but um, other than that though, apparently this game is going to be one of the best looking Call of Duty's and from the trailers that I've seen and from people I've talked to who have actually went and watched gameplay of the game before it was even revealed. Um, they all say that it's supposed to be a really good looking game and the game looks great. A lot of the people are talking about these fire aspects in the game. Apparently the fire looks really good in this game, which if you look at the trailer and you see where his parachute burns up when you're looking up at near the end of it, I thought that looked great. So the entire reveal trailer looks great, but we won't know how great the game actually looks until we've seen it ourselves. But those people that were fortunate enough to go to uh, Sledgehammer Games Studio or Activision and actually watch, I think it was like 10 minutes of a campaign mission and some gameplay some other things i'm pretty sure for those p fortunate people they're all saying that it's gonna be one of the best looking call of duty experiences we've ever had even better than mom warfare 2019 which in my opinion mom warfare 2019 i thought would be the peak for at least like a year or two for call of duty graphics on old gen consoles but apparently apparently it's supposed to be really good now they are gonna make it so that way uh Warzone will just run on the Vanguard engine with the Vanguard mechanics and everything. That way, the transition of all the weapons goes seamlessly, unlike the Cold War weapons went into the game. Because the Cold War weapons on the Modern Warfare 2019 engine for Warzone are just, they're way too good. So they're wanting to not be uh, making the game's integration of the Vanguard weapons just like they did the Cold War integration of the weapons, so I think this should be pretty good because they both run on the Modern Warfare 2019 engine. It's just that there might be the little uh, peak shooting that I was talking about. I don't really know how to describe it other than just peak shooting, so. 
other than that though guys hopefully you did enjoy if you did make sure to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications because i do upload daily i will see you guys in the next one if there is a next one and um yeah guys subscribe turn on post notifications for daily call of duty news and just content in general and this has been your boy discount technically wild